Hello everyone, today we're going to have tree diagram probability with replacement. There is another video that talks about tree diagram with no replacement. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So this is the problem. It's pretty much the same thing as the other problem, but the only one that makes it different is that in here, the, whatever is lost is being replaced. So in a jar, there are five Snickers and eight Milky Way bars. A kid can pick twice from a jar, <clears throat> and in every pick, the teacher replaces the lost bar. So whatever, is, whatever the kid picks, then the teacher would replace it. So let's find the total um, chocolate bars there are. So 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay, so that's 13 right there. So let's fill this in. Remember, we, we put in the uh, picks first. So Snickers, I'm going to write S here. And then Milky Way, I'm going to write M. The same thing for this, for the second pick, Snickers, Milky Way, and then Snickers here, and then Milky Way. Okay, now we fill this in. So to better understand this, again, I have this uh, jar right here. So in a jar, there are five Snickers, S, and eight Milky Ways. Now, uh, what is the probability that on the first pick, the kid can get Snickers? So that would be Snickers over the total. So one, two, three, four, five. That would be five over 13, since there are 13 total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So five out of 13. What is the probability that a kid can, on the first pick, he's gonna get Milky Way, so Milky Way over the total. So that's two, four, six, eight over 13. So eight over 13. Now, the, a kid can pick, let's say uh, the, the kid picks Snickers, so it was gone. Now this time around, the teacher will have to replace the lost Snickers, so it's back there. So what is the probability that on the second pick, it's a Snickers, so that would be one, two, three, four, five over 13, so it's still gonna be five over 13. And uh, what is the probability that it's gonna be a Milky Way? So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over 13. So this is eight over 13. And what happens next here, let's say on the first pick, on the, on the other side of the branch here, on the, uh, on the first pick, Milky Way was taken so the kid took the Milky Way, but then the teacher replaced it. So the teacher uh, placed another Milky Way bar over there. So that's that's the um, that's the total number of bars inside the jar now. So how many uh, uh, how many Snickers are there compared to the total? So that would be one, two, three, four, five. So five over um, thirteen. Now how many M's are there compared to the total for the second pick? So that would be. Um, 8 over 13. Okay, for the results here, just like uh, what we did on the other one, result means what, 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 what does the kid get? So to do that, we go by branch here. By the way, before we move on to the results here, one way to check if we got the correct answer, again, is to add all the numerators. So 8 plus 5 is 13, and that's over 13, so that means it's a total of 1. So this one right here is 5 plus 8 is 13, so this means 13 over 13, so we're good. 5 plus 8 is 13, and then that's over 13, so that's 1, so we're good. So uh, the total for each of these uh, uh, fractions here should be 1. Okay, so the result here would be Snickers on the first pick, Snickers on the second pick. The result here would be Snickers on the first pick and Milky Way on the second pick. The result here would be Milky Way on the first pick, Snickers on the second pick. Here, Milky Way on the first pick, Milky Way on the second pick. Okay, so let's have the probability, just like what we did with the other um, um, table. The probability result here would be the uh, product between these two. So that would be 5 over 13 times... 5 over 13, so I go through this. So 5 over 13 times 5 over 13. So this is 25 over 169. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and do these three problems on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer.
Okay, so we go over this. This would be, so we go, uh, since it says Snickers and Milky Way, we go through this branch. So that would be 5 over 13 times 8 over 13. 5 times 8 is 40. 13 times 13 is 169. And then did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. So we have the next one right here, Milky Way and Snickers. So that would be 8 over 13 times 5 over 13 so which is again 40 over 169 and the last one here would be 8 over 13 times 8 over 13 which is 64 over 169 did you get the same answers as this good Perfect. So we cannot reduce this to lowest term. That means these are already the answer. So if we say, uh, what is the probability that the kid gets Milky Way first and um, Snickers second pick? So that's MS. We go MS. So that's 40 over 169. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and get the probability of these three. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we have SM, so uh, Snickers on the first, uh, Milky Way on the second. So that is 40 over 169. And then M and M, Milky Way and Milky Way. So that is 64 over 169. And then Snickers and Snickers on the second pick. That's 25 over 169. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!